All right, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Department 56 Red Brick Fire Station. This is a really cool Christmas piece. It'll look fantastic in so many different kinds of villages. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. You know, there's, there's something about Christmas and a fire station that work really, really well together. Um, you know, if you drive by your local fire station, at least here in our area, they got Christmas lights out there and it's always so welcoming. And I, I can't imagine a better piece to have in a village than a fire station. Uh, for me, this one hits a little closer to home uh, because my grandfather was a retired fire captain. He was uh, there for many, many years. Uh, the best there is, if you're asking me. And uh, anyway, this specific house, he has one that sat on his desk for ever and ever and ever since I was little. Um, in fact, it still sits there at the time of filming this video. Um, you know, so adding this to my collection was definitely a, a special thing for me. It's, like I said, I've been trying to track it down for a long time. Um, it'll go into our village for the first time this year, and it'll kind of represent, you know, all the years of villaging that I did alongside with my grandfather growing up. Um, that was kind of the start of all this villaging stuff for me. And uh, I think I've talked about that, talked about that in past videos. So the Red Brick Fire Station. This came out in the Christmas in the City series, of course, by Department 56. It was about, I don't know, I think 55 or so dollars when it came out. That would have been back in 1990, though. So I'm kind of going off a little bit of memory here and a little bit of somewhat research that I could find. Um, it was around for about five years. I think it retired in 95. Uh, some quick specs for you. It's about 10 and 3 quarter inches tall by 4 and 3 quarter wide and five and a half deep. The shape of this house really was well, well thought out. The the height, you know, versus depth, um, it, it really, this, this, I don't know, something about the scale, I guess you could say, of this house was really, really cool. Um, of course, being Department 56, there's detail everywhere. So let me see if I can get you some close-ups here. Uh, from the top of the roof to every sign along the way, every window, every bow, I mean, it's right to the, the little sidewalk in front, right? That's classic Department 56 with the detail. That's what they're known for. Um, their products have always been heavily detailed. For those of you that have their products, you already know this. Um, and for those of you who are thinking about getting into their products, um, you'll probably notice that the price tag seems to be slightly higher than some of the other competitors out there. And typically that's the reason why. It's the detail and the quality. Um, Department 56 has always been fantastic when it comes to detail and quality. Um, little behind when it comes to the animation and things like that. However, of course, this is an older house anyway, but they were in general kind of later to the game. Yes, I'm aware of all the carnival pieces, etc. But um, overall, that was more of a Lamax thing um, that kind of shut off with that initially. But yeah, I, in the end, obviously, you know, everyone's going to be going down that road and they've already began, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You don't have to be first to be the best. You just, you know, have to have a really good product. And um, obviously, I stand by my Lamax products because that's kind of my first love there. Um, but, you know, I have no issue with Department 56 products and I do put them in uh, every one of my villages uh, nine times out of 10. You know, there's always a couple of their pieces, you know, popping around. So, um, but this one in particular is definitely going to be in our Christmas village this year. It's a beautiful piece. Let me show you the close ups on the signs. This one here is Engine House. I believe that's supposed to be established 1901. Um, we have the middle one here, and for those of you that have this house are probably wondering why it has a P in the middle of it. Um, it should be a F. It should read CCFD, I believe. When I purchased the house, um, I, it was too hard to tell in the picture. I didn't even, you know, notice it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's so small. Um, in the picture, it looked normal, but when I got here, um, it was not. And when I zoomed in on the picture, of course, it was a P. Um, so obviously, it had been changed. Um, I don't know if the person that had it before me changed it or what. Um, I've been looking a long time to get this house. All right, guys, so here it is. It is uh, lit up and plugged in. A lot of light shines through this house, and I think that brings a lot of the 
Christmas classic feel to it. Um, it like I've said, it's a great place to put your money. Um, I highly recommend this house. You know, more times than not, I always try to show you the houses um, that really are special. And, you know, if I'm showing you a house that isn't quite all that, I'm going to let you know that too. Um, but this, this is the one to, to, to go for if, if you ever come across it. Uh, for me, it was a little challenging to find, uh, but I did indeed finally get my hands on it recently. So it will be uh, displayed this year. So be on the lookout for that when I post that video. But in the turn time, I just want to take a moment to say thank you guys for all the love and support. It's been fantastic. I love talking to all of you guys about this kind of stuff and answering questions and you guys answering some of my questions and, you know, being a part of these groups is, is really, really cool. And um, it's, it's so fun to just be able to sit here and talk about these kinds of things and, and share with me your Department 56 stuff, your Lamac stuff. Show me what, what you got rocking. I want to know, you know, send me the pictures or, you know, whatever you got. I want to see it too. You know, this goes both ways, right? So anyways, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate all the love and support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.